If you ever want to use the word fuckeries, this is how you would really use it in a sentence. Okay, cool, let's rewind. The time is 1984. Lenny Henry gets his own show, which is 1984. I wasn't even born. I was still in my dad's ball bags. Then we fast forward 15 years later to 1999. I was just leaving secondary school. That's when Richard Blackwood got to front his own TV show. Then, 20 years later, 2019, the latest show was fronted by myself, Mo Gilligan. That's right. 20 years before a black comedian could get a show. And that is a fuckeries. Yes, 20 years. It's like treating the black comics like a Haley's Comet. It's just like, oh look, there one goes, look, look, there, look. Oh look, there's another one 10 years later. It was that nightclub policy, one in, one out. They got one black person, and that one black person represents all black people. We're not saying we want everything. That's not what we're saying. We just want to be represented. We don't want it to be like a, give us something for six months and then you disappear again for the next 20 years. That's not gonna be any good for us or our scene. We need it to be consistent. You know, just listening to what you guys are saying about there's one in, one out. You know, it's, it's sad that that's what my olders had to go through, you know, in the sense just to literally make a living. We got to get over this mainstream thing that's going on right now. You know, we all can sit here and pretend, oh my God, it was really a great time growing up. It was crap. The industry was racist, the industry was blocking us, the industry was saying to us, we've got our black show, we've got our black comedian, we've got our black, we've got our one at a time, one at a time. And a lot of the talent hasn't got through based on they're not ticking quotas. There are artists who it's like a train, they just jump on. The white artists who get on a train and the train takes them from a panel show. Then from the panel show, they, they're being interviewed by Jonathan Ross. Then suddenly it's Christmas, they got a DVD out, they got a book out, and it's a journey. You just watch them from Brock to Millionaire in about a year. Now, I'm Brock. 15 years later, I'm still Brock. The commissioning editors, the producers with white comics, they'll take a white comic and they'll mold them. They'll groom them. Oh, this show didn't work out for him. Let's try him in this. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's try him in this. That didn't work. Okay, let's try this with him. They'll keep trying, but with black comics, you get one chance. And if that show isn't an immediate success, they'll go, farewell. See, black comedy doesn't work. We tried. We're the ones who are knocking on the BBC door saying, look, we got scripts, we got this, we got that, we got this, we got that. And it was like, well, no, 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 no. No. You have gatekeepers, and you have to tickle the gatekeeper's funny bone. When people are saying to me, oh, see, you're so good, when are we going to see you on TV? I'm telling them, you're never going to see me on TV. They're not going to have it. It's only when you talk about it, you realise that it's just so unjust. You see people that deserve opportunities that are not getting it. It really hurts, man. The dream I have is producing or directing a sitcom that's full of white people. Isn't that a sad dream to have? But behind the camera, everybody's black. I think that would scare the hell out of the world. Everybody's black behind the camera, but you're calling the shots for these white actors to say, or white comedians to say. And you can say to them, no, I don't think Middle Brixton would get it. I don't think Middle Handsworth would get it. <laughs> Man said Middle Brixton, you know? No, that's bare funny. <laughs> That is the fucked up part. It's the gatekeeper. It's not the audience. I, I perform to a whole room full of white people, yeah. and they fucking love it. Yeah. So I know the audience, yeah. the audience is being denied our talents. I'm telling you that now. So it's the, it's the gatekeeper, I'm telling you.